Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to another tarot card projection of a metro area. Uh, the intention behind these readings is to use the cards to tap into the subconscious in order to get hints at what is coming in the near future for the inhabitants of a particular metro area. Particularly, we would like the cards to describe events, activities, or newsworthy stories that are coming in the next 30 to 60 days that will have a large emotional impact on the human population in and around that city and it needs to be recognized as having to happen. Today is March 14th, 2017. Um, We're going to do the projection spread, which is basically a who, what, where, when, event influences, event focus, and spiritual interpretation, or divine interpretation. And so here, um, we are reading for... Today, we're going to read for the greater Boston, Cambridge, Newton area. And see what the cards have to say. So we're going to draw the first card, which is going to be the Who card. Uh, the person is the Who position. Uh, the, it, it basically is the personality traits or the human characteristics that describe who it is that will be doing or be involved in the upcoming event or activity. And the next one is the What card. The what is the is all about the context of the event or activity. It will provide the characteristics that can be used to determine to frame what is being predicted. And the where position is uh, items in the environment of the event. So things that may be located where it may be located, where what it may, may be described as, or things involved that are suspiciously close. The win position is the either the time of day or how far out in time that this event is. Now we're going to event influences. So this is going to be this card is going to give a, uh, a focus on what the actual event is. Elemental focus. This is kind of the major area for this particular event. And this divine card or what can be interpreted with the divine influence. Maybe it's karma. Maybe it's a basic, basic life principle or an animal spirit. So I'm now going to pause the video. I'm going to go put all this on the website so that we can get the meaning so we can interpret this. Um, and I'll be right back. All right. So here we're going to go ahead and um, we've got some meanings for these cards. I'll go ahead and read those to you. We'll start to interpret these. Uh, so hopefully we can see those cards a little bit better. Um, what we have here is in that first position, the who position, we're going to get, we're going to get a person that is ambitious, uh, ridiculous, preoccupied, foolish, thoughtless, forgetful, dreamy, impractical, disorganized, bizarre, as being somebody involved in an event, that the event is a tragic comedy. So the fool represents the tragic comedy. In the upright position, it is, uh, it's, it's more of a, seems more lighthearted than, uh, than darker. So in the reverse position, it would be, uh, you, you'd look at the harder, uh, more, uh, well, good versus evil. So here on the top side, it should be relatively good. So when we look specifically at this event, the event for the fool represents uh, keywords are laughter, lighthearted, amusing, enjoyment, silly, lovable, escape. Uh, the feeling is a feeling that the burdens of life temporarily lifted because you've been carried away by about or laughter. So it's as if there's, there's something going on that's really sad that's making everybody laugh. Uh, general description. It's going to make everyone laugh, and it is designed to make everyone laugh. It should have the overtones of being lighthearted drama, or even uh, that is crafted specifically to amuse people. It can be seen as entertainment that is designed to provoke enjoyment. The focus. There is a strong sense that all of the work that we do is in vain. It is as everyone toils to produce the same stuff, but or to provide services that simply aren't needed. It's the toy that no one needs, but everyone frantically works to try to get their own. Uh, it's getting caught in the activities that lead towards materialism rather than simply uh, 
simplifying down to what is really important. There's a feeling that uh, it's all a waste of time, and it's not. If it wasn't so tragic, it would be laughed about, and so it probably will be laughed about, and it probably will be tragic. Uh, so the results here is usually end up having a relatively happy ending, although the humor may have a serious or pessimistic overtone. So, so we have some type of activity that's going to happen where uh, everyone may feel like they're off working on stuff that's not important, or uh, there may be uh, the effort to to try to. There may be some work that's provided towards something that uh, isn't needed. Uh, that nobody really wants and nobody really understands why they're doing it. Um, where? Where is this going to happen? So here we have the, the hint from the cards that the Nine of Wands is going to represent a convention center, fast food, golf course, road, automobile, or train. So it's as if there's some transportation associated with this um, and, or, and, and it would be relatively fast moving transportation. Um, when? So when, when we're looking at the Five of Coins, uh, the wind card, it says nightfall, but um, it also says expect the, the event in either 1933 or 47 days. So today is being uh, March 14th. Um, we would look ahead and 19 days out would put us at the 2nd of April. Uh, 16, uh, an additional uh what number of days up to 33 after that <clears throat> puts us at the 16th and 47 days out puts us at the 30th. So we have this event that's going to happen in April and it's generally one of those Sundays. So event influences. So when we come around to the event, event influences, um, these are the details for the event. This is kind of what we should be seeing out of that event. And the influences are going to be uh, rejoicing, celebration, joy, friendship, creativity, community, uh, affirmation. So it, it's as if the uh, whatever's happening here, uh, the focus or the the influences on that are going to be community based. Um, there's there's partnerships. There's people working together. Um, it's creativity that's that's part of this tragic comedy. When we look at the elemental influences, the elemental influences are the earth. The coins are going to represent the earth. Um, there's a, a solid heaviness of matter associated with the terrestrial world. Uh, and this supports the seasons, um, the cycles of life, crops and fertility. Um, so um, it, it will be a grounding event. It'll be an earthy type event. Um, it, it has to do with life and death, uh, underworld. Um, basically, it could also be the, the resting place of the souls of the dead. When we come around to the divine influence, the divine influence is uh, this particular card is a uh, major arcana card, and it has to do with the the uh, practicing the attributes of what makes us human, the divine physical plane of the human out the human experience. So this card would go along with the tower, which we the mind and the ego, along with temperance, would which would be the heart space. Um, this goes along with the physical realm. And so, so the principle coming out here is using the animalistic aspects of the human experience. It's about learning the lessons uh, that are associated with the flesh. And so um, it gives a, a little bit, uh, the influence that we might have here now is that this tragic comedy that's coming along that is sad may have to do with the human trappings of the flesh and uh, it could be a very earthy thing that it could basically be felt right down to the core but it's a community thing so there's a bunch of people involved in this uh, they what what they would normally see from the community point of view those influences um, is that there's there's some type of celebration and joy uh, associated with this um, that the person, again, the person that's involved in this, uh, or people are foolish, they're forgetful, they're impractical, disorganized, bizarre. So bizarre was the first word that stuck out to me uh, when I was printing up this report. And so we may have a, uh, a bizarre person or people associated with something that's a tragic comedy that has to do with trappings of the flesh um, that is very grounding, that's 
that others, maybe somebody observing the situation is going to find as a celebration or joyful. Um, and uh, it, it could be involved in a transportation that's relatively swift. And the time frame again is going to be the 2nd, 16th, or 30th of April. Anyway, uh, if you like these types of events, feel free to uh, subscribe to the website and or uh, get a hold of me, particularly talking about news stories. If you're interested in a news story, let me know. Uh, in any case, we'll go ahead and move on. Uh, I'm going to do another one here in just a moment.